Jeremiah chapter 9 I wish my head were a well of water and my eyes a fountain of tears so that I could cry day and night for my people who have been killed I wish I had a place to stay in a desert where I could get away from my people they are all unfaithful a mob of traitors they have are all they are always ready to tell lies this honesty instead of truth rules the land the lord says my people do one evil thing after another and do not acknowledge me as their god everyone must be on guard against his friend and no one can trust his brother for every brother as for every brother is as deceitful as jacob and everyone slanders his friends they all mislead their friends and no one tells the truth they have taught their tongues to lie and will not give up their sinning they do one violent thing after another and one deceitful act follows another the lord says that his people rejects him because of this the lord almighty says i will refine my people like metal and put them to a test my people have done evil what else can i do with them their tongues are like deadly arrows they always tell lies everyone speaks friendly words to his neighbor but is really setting a trap for him will i not punish them for these things will i not take revenge on a nation like this i the lord has spoken i said i will mourn on a mountain side and we for a pastures because they have dried up and no one travels through them the sound of livestock is no longer heard birds and wild animals have fled and gone the lord says i will make jerusalem a pile of ruins a place where jackals sleep the cities of juda will become a desert a place where no one lives i said lord why is the land devastated and dry as the desert so that no one travels to it who is wise enough to understand this to whom have you explained it so that he can tell others the lord answered this has happened because my people have abandoned the teaching that i gave them they have not obeyed me or done what i told them instead they have been stubborn and have worshiped the idols of baal as their fathers taught them to do so then listen to what i the lord almighty the god of israel will do i will give my people bitter plants to eat and poison to drink i will scatter them among nations that neither they nor their ancestors have heard about and i will send armies against them until i have completely destroyed them the lord almighty said think about what is happening call for the mourners to come for a woman who sings funeral songs the people said tell them to hurry and sing a funeral song for us until our eyes fill with tears and our eyelids are wet from crying listen to the sound of crying in zion we are ruined we are completely disgraced we must leave our land our homes have been torn down i said listen to the lord you women and pay attention to his words 
teach your daughters how to mourn and your friends how to sing a funeral song that has come in through our so windows and entered our palaces it has cut down the children in the streets and the young men in the market places dead bodies are scattered everywhere like piles in manure on a fields like corn out and left behind by reapers corn that no one gathers this is what the lord has told me to say the lord says wise men should not boast of their wisdom nor strong men of their strength nor rich men of their wealth if anyone wants to boast he should boast that he knows and understands me because my love is constant and i do what is just and right these are the things that please me i the lord has spoken the lord says the time has coming when i will punish the people of egypt judah adam amon moab and the desert people who have their hair cut short all these people have circumcised but have not kept the covenant it symbolizes none of these people and none of the people of israel have kept my covenant jeremiah chapter 10 people of israel listen to the message that the lord has for you he says do not follow the ways of other nations do not be disturbed by unusual sights in the sky even though other nations are terrified the religion of these people are worthless a tree is cut down in the forest it is carved by the tools of the wood carver and decorated with silver and gold it is fastened with down it is fastened down with nails to keep it from falling over such idols are like scarecrows in a field of melons they cannot speak they have to be carried because they cannot walk do not be afraid of them they can cause you no harm and they can do you no good lord there is no one like you you are the mighty and your name is great and powerful who would not honor you the king of all nations you deserve to be honored there is no one like you among all the wise men of the nations or among any of their kings all of them are stupid and foolish what can they learn from wooden idols their idols are covered with silver from spain and with gold from upas all the work of artists they are dressed in violet and purple cloth woven by skilled weavers but you lord are the true god you are the living god and the entire internal and the eternal king when you are angry the world trembles the nations cannot endure your anger you people must tell them that the god who did not make the earth and the sky will be destroyed that they will no longer exist anywhere on earth the lord made the earth by his power by his wisdom he created the world and stretched out the heavens at his command the waters above the sky roar he brings clouds from the ends of the earth he makes lightning flash in the rain and sends the wind from his toru at the sight of this man men feel stupid and senseless 
Those who make idols are disillusioned. Disil disillusion because the gods they make are false and lifeless. They are worthless and should be dispersed. Despised. They will be destroyed when the Lord comes to deal with them. The God of Jacob is not like them. He is the one who made everything. And he has chosen Israel to be his very own people. The Lord Almighty in his name. People of Jerusalem, you are under siege. Gather up your belongings. The Lord is going to throw you out of his land, of this land. He is going to crush you until not one of you is left. The Lord has spoken. The people of Jerusalem cried out, How badly we are hurt! Our wounds will not heal. And we thought this was something we could endure. Our tents are ruined. The roads that held them are broken. Our children have all gone away. There is no one left to put up our tents again. There is no one to hang their curtains. I answered, our leaders are stupid. They do not ask the Lord for guidance. This is why they have failed. And our people have been scattered. Listen, news has come. There is a great commotion in the nation to the north. Its army will turn the cities of Judah into a desert. A place where jackals live. Lord, I know that no one is the master, master Lord I know that no one is the master of his own destiny no person has control over his own life correct your people Lord but do not be too hard on us or punish us when you are angry that would be a, the end of us Turn your anger on the nations that do not worship you and on the people who reject you. They have killed your people. They have destroyed us completely and left our country in ruins. Jeremiah chapter 11 The Lord said to me, Listen to the terms of the covenant. Tell the people of Judah and of Jerusalem that I the Lord God of Israel has placed a curse on everyone who does not obey the terms of this covenant. It is the covenant I made with their ancestors when I brought them out of Egypt, the land that was like a blazing furnace to them. I told them to obey me and to do everything that I had commanded. I told them that if they obeyed, they would be my people and I would be their God. Then I would keep the promise I made to their ancestors that I would give them the rich and fertile land which they now have. I said, Yes, Lord. Then the Lord said to me, Go to the cities of Judah and to the streets of Jerusalem. Proclaim my message there and tell the people to listen to the terms of the covenant and to obey them. When I brought their ancestors out of Egypt, I solemnly warned them to obey me. And I have kept on warning the people until this day. But they did not obey or they did not listen or obey. Instead, Everyone continued to be as stubborn and evil as ever. I had commanded them to keep the covenant, but they refused. So I brought on them all the punishment described in it. The Lord said to me, The people of Judah and of Jerusalem are plotting against me. They have gone back to the sins of their ancestors who refused to do what I said. 
They have worshipped other gods. Both Israel and Judah have broken the covenant that I made with their ancestors. So now I, the Lord, warn them that I am going to bring destruction on them and they will not escape. And when they cry out to me for help, I will not listen to them. Then the people of Judah and of Jerusalem will go to the gods to whom they offer sacrifices and will cry out to them for help. But those gods will not be able to save them when this destruction comes. The people of Judah have as many gods as they have cities, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem have set up as many altars of sacrifices to that disgusting god Baal, as there are cities and there are streets in the cities. Jeremiah, don't pray to me or plead with me on the behalf of these people. When they are in trouble and call me to help, and, uh, and when they are in trouble and call me, when they are in trouble and call to me for help, I will not listen to them. The Lord says, the people I love are doing evil things. What right have they to be in my temple? Do they think they can prevent disaster by making promises and by offering animal sacrifices? Will that make them happy? I once called them a leafy olive tree full of beautiful fruit, but now it was a roar like thunder and I will set its leaves on a fire and break its branches. I, the Lord Almighty, planted Israel and Judah, but now I threaten them with disaster. They have brought this on themselves because they have done wrong. They have made me angry by offering sacrifices to Baal. The Lord informed me of the plots that my enemies were making against me. I was like a trusting lamb taken out to be killed. And, and I did not know that it was against me that they were planning evil things. They were still saying, let us chop down a tree while it is still healthy. Let's kill him so that no one will remember him anymore. Then I prayed, Almighty Lord, you are a just judge. You test people's thoughts and feelings. I have placed my cause on your hands. So let me watch you take revenge on these people. The men of Anato wanted me killed and they told me that they would kill me if I kept on proclaiming the Lord's message. So the Lord Almighty said, I will punish them. Their young men will be killed in war. Their children will die in salvage of starvation. Their children will die of starvation. I will set a time for bringing disaster on the people of Anato. And when that time comes, none of them will survive. Jeremiah chapter 12 Lord, if I argued my case with you, you would prove to be right. Yet, I must question you about matters of justice. Why are wicked men so prosperous? Why do dishonest men succeed? You plant them and they take root. They grow and bear fruit. They always speak well of you. Yet, they do not really care about you. But Lord, you know me. You see what I do and how I love you. Drag these evil men away like sheep to be butchered. Guard them until it is time for them to be slaughtered. How long will a land be dry? 
and the grass in every field be withered. Animals and birds are dying because of the wickedness of our people. People who say God doesn't see what we are doing. Then the Lord, the Lord said, Jeremiah, if you get tired racing against men, how can you race against horses? If you can't even stand up in open country, how will you manage in a jungle by the Jordan? Even your brothers, members of your own family have betrayed you, they join in attacks against you. Do not trust them even though they speak friendly words. The Lord says, I have abandoned Israel. I have rejected my chosen nation. I have given the people I love into the power of their enemies. I, my chosen people, have turned against me. Like a lion in the forest, they have roared at me, and so I hate them. My chosen people are like a bird, attacked from all sides by hawks, called the wild animals to come and join in the feast. Many foreign rulers have destroyed my vineyard. They have trampled down my fields. They have turned my lovely land into a desert. They have made it a wilderness. It lies desolate before me. The whole land has become a desert, and no one cares. Across all the desert highlands, men have come to plunder. I have sent war to destroy the entire land. No one can live in peace. My people sowed wheat but gathered weeds. They have worked hard but got nothing for it. Because of my fierce anger, their crops have failed. The Lord says, I have something to say about Israel's neighbors who have ruined the land I gave to my people Israel. I will take those wicked men away from their countries like an uprooted plant and I'll rescue Judah from them. But after I've taken them away, I will have mercy on them. I will bring each nation back to its own land and to its own country. If with all their hearts they will accept the religion of my people and will swear as the Lord lives, as they once taught my people to swear by Baal, then they will also be a part of my people and will prosper. But if any nation will not obey, then I will completely uproot it and destroy it. I, the Lord, has spoken.